Hey folks, welcome to the Tune of the Week. Um, thanks for coming back. This is a great David Grisman tune, one that I've loved for a long time, uh, called Doc and Dog from uh, David Grisman and Doc Watson's 1994 album of the same title. Some great mandolin playing on that record, uh, but this tune just kind of uh, starts everything off on a good note. Uh, first tune on the album, and kind of their theme song, I guess, if you will. Great David Grisman tune. Uh, Really good tune to represent dogs playing as well. We got some classic Grisman licks in there. So I'm doing this series from week to week to highlight some great mandolin tunes and great mandolin players, uh, often that I feel like are underappreciated. Now, David Grisman is certainly not underappreciated, but this tune I think is. Uh, not a lot of people seem to play it, um, but it's an easy tune, easy to show to your friends and uh, call out in a jam, and people shouldn't struggle to get it. Uh, not a lot of chords involved, pretty easy tune. All right, so this tune is typically played A-A-B-A. -A -A. Uh, the B part's more of a bridge than anything that just gets you back to a repeated A section at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and play the A part slow so that you can hear it. One, two, three. That's the A part, and it repeats. Uh, in the repeat, the only difference is the pickup notes are just a tad different. In the first, the first pickup notes will sound like this, and in between the A parts, the pickup notes will sound like this. So that's just a simple uh, notion of adding drone strings there. Uh, nothing too complicated. Uh, it's all in the tab. But yeah, I'm going to slow this down and play it phrase by phrase. So we'll start out climbing up to that E string, that E note. So let's tackle that, that whole phrase. I'll play it slow once more. Now that phrase is not hard to remember, uh, it's a very easy little uh, passage to get stuck in your head, but it's a little twisty to play. Uh, so it's got those open strings, open, open. So that's what separates it from just being a scale. You know, it's got kind of this bouncy back and forth movement. And of course it's got a flat seven on that G note because we're in the key of A. So moving on, we're gonna hit this D double stop, uh, which is basically just your D chord played with these two fingers, um, and of course the fingerings are represented in the tab. So this is the other tricky section of the A part, uh, just this little triplet movement. Uh, and this is mostly based in a hammer-on and pull-off pattern. Um, in the right hand, the down-up, down-up never stops. So. so we have an open string here. but that's the only open string. We'll hit that six note there before we go to the five, and then land on the A chord. So I'm gonna play that whole A section slow. One, two, three. that with the other pickup, of course. But let's go ahead and get into the B section now, uh, because this, this is the section that really makes the tune for me. A really cool approach here by David Grisman. So I'll start on the pickup notes here, coming out of the A section. So 
pretty short B section, like I said, more of a bridge. But let's get into it. So we'll start on these pickup notes for the D. And of course, this D note, we're going to mute that, so it's going to be very staccato. So that's the D chord, and then we just land on the A chord on that uh, A7 note, the G note. So I'll play that once more. And that's going to send us into this next phrase. It's a pretty easy little lick there over the A. So all together so far. Now moving on in the B section, we'll go to this B chord, uh, which is the two, you know, the two major, which will go to the five, the five with the seven in it, like an E seven in this case. So that's a one, two, five. So over the B chord, So it's a little bit of a B7 there, you know, we're playing B, C sharp, B, and A, so that's one, two, one, seven. And then here we incorporate that third. And then we'll play over the E chord. Really easy phrase there. And then that's going to send us right back to the A section. You know, and there's nothing different about that last A section. You just play it once. Um, so the whole thing is A, A, B, A. So I'll play that B section into that last A section slowly now. One, two, three. Now some things to keep in mind with this tune are your alternating picking. Uh, I say that about every tune, but this one in particular has got this nice, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up. So this tune has a little bit of a bounce. Um, I found that about a lot of David Grisman's uh, tunes and most of his playing. It kind of has this just nice flowing dynamic, you know, some mandolin players, everything is straight, uh, and that's that's fantastic. Uh, Adam Steffi is a great example of that. Um, but Grisman has this, this way of just kind of this dynamic flow that's ever so subtle. So that's something I think that's important to pay attention to on this tune. Um, otherwise, just pay attention to your triplets, your hammer-on pull-off triplets. You know, those can be a little tricky on the right hand, but I'm, I'm just going down, up, down, up, straight, never breaking that pattern. Uh, just adding the notes on the left hand. And of course, all the pick strokes and fingerings, things like that, are in the tab. Thanks for checking this one out, and make sure to come back, and there will be a new tune every week here for the Mandolin Tune of the Week. I'll play it once. Feel free to play along. Uh, like always, the chords are in the tab, so feel free to go check that out. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.